There are dozens and dozens of different chicken breeds in existence today. Sometimes, this number becomes a problem when trying to pick a new addition to your chicken family. So today, I'm going to tell you about 10 unbelievable chicken breeds that actually exist. 1. Frizzle Chicken If you're all about some funky flair in your feathered friends, these adorable chickens are right up your alley. With a friendly personality and captivating charm, this beloved breed stands out among poultry fanciers seeking an element of uniqueness in their flock. The real crowd pleasers of fanciers looking for unique poultry, they've been around since way back in the 1600s, developed to be great dual-purpose birds that roll out around 180 to 200 eggs per year. Today, they're more popular as show and exhibition birds. Here's what sets them apart from all other chickens. Their frizzled feathers twist and make a completely individual curl on their distinctive compact build. This one-of-a-kind trait is created by one missing dominant gene, and its result is a favorite among chicken enthusiasts. 2. Featherless Chicken As the name suggests, these birds do not have any feathers. No, I am not talking about those chickens about to be cooked. This bird is a real-life moving naked chicken. You might be surprised, but it took decades to bring this bird about. They were made for the world of commercial poultry. This breed has many qualities you would look for in commercial chickens. They develop faster and usually gain weight faster. However, since they do not have that extra layer of protection, there are several things you might want to look out for. You need extra caution with common concerns, such as parasites and other insects, as their lack of plumage makes it easy for the mites and such to attack. It is not advisable to get featherless chickens if you live in an area that gets exceptionally cold. They were developed not to produce any feathers as an answer to overheating hens, but this somewhat makes them defenseless against the cold. On the other hand, you also need to be cautious in hot seasons. Their lack of feathers also makes them susceptible to issues, such as sunburns and the like. Overall, featherless chickens can give you a lot. However, they require considerable care and attention. 3. Polish Chicken Chicken with a quirky hairdo, and probably one of the coolest chickens in town. Where else will you find such a good-looking bird? If you are interested in chicken history, they make a mighty fine addition to your historical birds. They have been roaming the earth for a long time, and parts of their history got lost along the way. Today, bits and pieces of their origin story are somewhat unclear. However, paintings from the 16th century have attested that they have been around since then. On the other hand, if you are looking for a chicken companion for your kids, then you can count on these critters as well. They are known to be a calm and gentle bunch. You can trust them around your kids. Whether you are looking for a handsome bird, a chicken with some history, or just a barnyard companion, the Polish chicken would be a great option to consider. The Polish chicken will undoubtedly get attention with its head feathers. However, there is so much more to this bird than its looks. They can also give you a good number of eggs, producing around three eggs each week. 4. Silky Chicken the Silky is a distinctive chicken breed known for their fluffy appearance, which can make them look more like walking balls of fluff than your typical chicken. Furthermore, as their name suggests, their feathers feel like silk. If you are thinking that it would be a delight to hug one of these little critters, you are in for a treat. These guys are a calm and friendly bunch. They would more than welcome your love. This friendliness also extends to other birds, so you will not have that much of a hard time introducing them to the family. However, the silkies are not only all about appearances. They are also sought after as they have multiple uses. These chickens could give you a fair number of eggs, being able to give up to or more than 100 eggs each year. Furthermore, they may not have much meat, but they are sought after table birds. Under all that feather, the silky has black skin and muscles, which renders them a delicacy and an ingredient in some medicines. 5. Onagadori Chicken Have you ever wanted to take care of a phoenix? We know they do not exist, but we might have the best chicken. You could say that the Onagadori is a real-life representation of the elegance and grace of the phoenix. The Onagadori is a Japanese breed possessing a long and majestic tail, and we are not exaggerating. This chicken's tail can reach impressive lengths of about 5 to 7 meters. It is a beauty and was even recognized as a Japanese national natural treasure. They have been around for a long time, and they sure do have a long and rich history. The Onagadori is a royal bird and has been known to adorn the gardens of emperors. Today, many are still amazed at the beauty of this bird. However, it is not the easiest chicken to acquire. They are not quite as common, and you need a good eye to get yourself a purebred one. 
Their plumage does not molt as often as other birds, which means they would have to keep their damaged plumes for a longer time. 6. Araucana chicken. The Araucana chickens mostly do not have tail feathers, and it seems those plumes went to their faces. This breed is known to be rumpless, meaning they lack the uropygial gland, not just the tail feathers. However, they do have tufts that grow on their faces. These tufts sometimes grow a mind of their own and go in different directions. Do not be surprised, if you see an Araucana with a tiny pair of wings on its face, one with a fabulous mustache, or one with an overgrown beard. This breed is known as a friendly bunch. They could also be quite lively, which might be perfect if you have an active child, they could be playmates. Overall, they are a great choice if you want a family pet. However, we hope you are not looking for a meat bird, as these birds are not the best table birds around. Nonetheless, they could provide you with wonderful blue eggs. Furthermore, the Araucana is a decent egg layer, providing around 150 eggs each year. If you're looking for a unique bird, that can give you unique eggs, the Araucana is for you. 7. La Flesh Chicken. The La Fleshes have been given the name Devil Birds, because of their unusual comb. It is easy to spot these birds because of their combs. It is not every day you get to see horns on chickens, after all. They were once one of the most celebrated chickens in the poultry world, as they were one of the best table birds before. Furthermore, they can produce around 180 eggs a year, which is not shabby. They were undoubtedly a great dual-purpose breed. However, they are slow-developing birds, and they soon lost this fame when fast-developing chickens came into the scene. At one point, they have been so close to extinction. However, they are slowly regaining both their popularity and numbers back. Overall, I believe that raising these guys would be a rewarding experience. You might need some patience since they are a slow-developing breed. However, I have little doubt that all the hard work and waiting would pay off. 8. Dong Dao Chicken. The Dong Dao chickens immediately catch people's attention with their bizarre legs. Some may think they are ordinary chickens exhibiting some form of disease or a simple allergy. However, that is how they normally look. Their appearance may not obtain everyone's fancy, but these are some regal birds. At one point, these birds were exclusive to royals. As we already know, only the best is served to kings and queens. These birds were not merely set apart for the noble because of their looks. It is a delicacy and possesses one of the most delicious meat before. Today, Dong Dao chickens are still prized for their delicious meat. Their market value proves that they are still prized. Currently, it is possible to sell a pair for more than $2,000. Hatching and breeding your own Dong Dao might be one of the biggest challenges with these guys. Dong Dao hens do not produce as many eggs, and they are not known to go broody. Furthermore, it is not uncommon for them to accidentally crush their eggs with their large feet. Breeders should take extra caution during the breeding process. 9. Naked Neck Chicken. Sometimes, they are also referred to as the Turkin or the Cherky. Amusingly, these guys got their nicknames as a nod to the fact that people have mistakenly thought that they were the product of a chicken and a turkey. As the name suggests, their necks are bare, which sometimes extends to the uppermost part of their bodies. Other portions of their frame have feathers. However, it seems it is barely covering them as they have a comparably lower number of plumes than other chickens. The naked neck can be depended on for eggs as they could give you three eggs a week. Furthermore, they also pass as good table birds with their meaty bodies and noticeable lack of feathering. 10. Modern Game Chicken. The modern game chicken may not have long feathers like the Onagadori, but it does have some pretty long legs. These birds have one of the longest legs you will ever see, and, they would most likely catch the attention of anyone. Despite its name, the modern game was not made for cockfighting. It was developed after the sport became illegal. They are ornamental birds, bred for their aesthetic qualities, and are often top contenders in poultry exhibitions. However, they are not the most productive birds around. The modern game is not dependable, when it comes to egg production. On average, they could only give you one egg a week. And also, they do not make for great table birds. They might look a little more intimidating than our usually fluffier companions, but they are known to be calm and friendly. The modern game would be a great choice to be a barnyard buddy, when they are not competing for that first place. So, they may be weird, but they are just as lovable as their more common counterparts. If you think your flock is missing something, then a quirky new chicken might be what you are looking for. 
If you had to choose one of these, which chicken breed would you prefer?